Good morning, guys. After a horrible 12 plus hour migraine yesterday and no garden tour, today, this morning, I'm gonna do a garden tour and then we're gonna go on our second attempt to see the Dragon Capsule rocket launch. Kato's playing in water. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna pick this, but we're gonna come back to this and this is gonna be the end of the garden tour. But I do have a second one growing. Very excited. This plant has actually trailed all the way over here. All right, first thing I wanna talk about is all of these beans. They are coming up wonderfully. We planted these maybe three weeks ago, not even. And they're to the top of the tomato cages. I keep just wrapping them around, but these are doing great. Hopefully we'll have some flowers soon and beans soon as well. The next thing I wanna talk about is this section right here that I pulled everything out of. I planted, I planted Oprah, and this chicken in particular is why it's not coming up. I've got some coming up, but she just wants to scratch everything. So I'm not quite sure. You wanna scratch Marmy? Yeah. Okay, well then go give her some pets. But I'm not quite sure how much is actually gonna come out of this. We'll see, but these okra that I planted way earlier in the season are actually starting to put off new leaves. And then this one okra, I actually have okra. I'm actually going to pick this one, I believe, and I'm gonna try it just as is, because this is about as big as this hill country should get. Peppers are doing fabulous. I'm going to pick all of these off today. That one's actually really big. That's really great. I normally pick them when they're smaller, about maybe a little bit bigger than this. Um, but this one's gotten quite big just because I've left it for so long. But this plant has done so well. It just is such a prolific plant and it's only one. And then I have these bell peppers that are also ready to pick, finally. Look how big, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Of these starfish peppers. This plant has been really prolific as well. It's just, they take a little bit longer for some reason. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's just because they're a spicy pepper. I'm not quite sure. I went into my cucumbers and was like, what is that? Harvesting a dinosaur. I want to talk about this kind of hot mess right here. This was supposed to be cucumbers. And while I do have one cucumber, two of these plants are that fuzzy melon thing and none of it has grown. So I'm not quite sure. I'm just leaving it, but you never know. I've gotten two cucumbers off of this plant so far and they were wonderfully healthy cucumbers. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with these, but it is getting super hot. So I just don't think that the cucumber will do much after it starts hitting 100 degrees. So I have never eaten okra not fried, being from the South, but I am going to attempt this, just eating it raw, um, because I feel like that's probably a good, a good attempt, at least a first time attempt. All right. How do you do a bite at the end? Mmm. That's not bad. It's a little slimy. Can you hear the... That's deafening loud. Huh? All right, so these eggplants are huge. This one I let go a little too long, I think. But I've got quite a few back in here that I'm gonna harvest. My basil's still doing wonderful. I need to just use it more. I mean, I feel like I use this almost every day and it's still just so much, but mm, basil is just the best smell ever, you guys. I just kind of sometimes pick it and then rub it on my hands because I love the smell. Mm. Okay, I wanna talk about the tomatoes. So I live in Florida. I'm in zone 9A, 9B, depending on which map you look at. And we 
are starting to get our torrential rain. Um, we're not quite to hurricane season yet, but we're starting to where it's like immense downpours, um, several inches of rain at a time, and then it stops and it's just so muggy and humid. If you can't tell by my hair, it's really, really humid outside. So I had a lot of tomatoes yesterday. I picked them all because we're having another one of those downpours. And I had two tomatoes that had ripened on the vine and I was gonna pick them for the garden tour yesterday. And they had already burst because there, we had gotten so much rain so quickly in three days that it just, they couldn't handle it. And I, all of my green tomatoes were starting to crack. So I just harvested all of them. I do still have um, some plants that are putting off flowers. This climbing triple crop is super tall. It's super healthy. So I'm gonna plant more of that next season. Um, but I just didn't want to waste all of that fruit from them busting because we essentially are just going to have torrential rain once a day with crazy high humidity. And that's just not a good situation for tomatoes. So we're kind of at the end of tomato season here and it's only May 30th. Something I'm super excited about that's not in the main garden is these zucchini plants. They're doing great here. They get a little more shade than in the other area. This, these bags have been amended really, really well with soil. So I'm hoping to start having some blooms on these um, probably in the next two weeks. So that's really exciting. And over here we have the green stock. It's doing really well. Every Almost everything's coming up. Some stuff's struggling a little bit for light, which I was anticipating being over here, but everything's looking good. I've even got some true leaves on this honeydew. So we'll really see how this goes the rest of the season. Um, they are staying definitely cooler in this back corner of the yard. So I'm pretty happy with it so far. Our yard explodes with how much rain we've had. We mowed like three days ago. Do you see how much grass? It's crazy back here. Florida is just a monster in and of Once itself. again, this chicken will not lay her egg in the nest box. Does anyone have any advice on how to get one particular chicken to lay in the nest box when all the other ones are? Um, I'm just not quite sure what to do with, with just her not laying in that nest box. All right, last thing of the garden tour, I'm gonna pick that, I think it's a cantaloupe. We'll all see right, you guys. Maybe it's a cantaloupe, maybe it's not. We're gonna go cut it open and see what is inside. All right, that's the end of my garden tour. I've got everything in my wonderful Rue apron, which I'm super excited about to have now. Let's take everything inside and see what's inside that cantaloupe. Bye, garden. All right, moment of truth. How satisfying was that? Whoa. It's a melon. It's a melon, okay. Ooh! It looks like a cantaloupe, kind of. It is a cantaloupe. It is a cantaloupe? All right, we grew a cantaloupe without having anything for cantaloupe seeds, so this grew out of the compost. So it's like oh, a, it did, didn't it? it's a, it's a mutant cantaloupe. <laughs> so this is definitely hard, <laughs> but it's not bad. We've got another one growing, so we'll just let that one sit for a lot this longer. This is a little too hard and underripe. We're gonna give it to all the animals for them to snack on. But how pretty. I'm excited that we grew a melon without even trying. Mm -hmm.